Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Baton. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? Just a reminder of a few very important dates coming up. This week, we are honoring all our wonderful teachers. It is Teacher Appreciation Week. Make sure you tell your teacher thank you for all that they do for you each day. On Friday, May 12th, is Nurse Appreciation Day. Let's make sure we tell Nurse Jess how much we appreciate all the work she's done, as well as the nurse that's in the primary office. This week, we will have fifth grade swimming. Today, they will be swimming. And then next week on May 15th and 16th, they will have swimming. May 23rd is our primary Olympic day and May 25th will be our intermediate Olympic day. We have a lot of special events going on here at school. Let's make sure we are following our directions and representing our school in a very positive way. Also, please remember if you have any spring picture order forms, we do need those as soon as possible in the office. Also, if you have basketball, soccer, or football camp forms, those are due very soon as well. You may turn those into the office area as well. Baton Intermediate and Baton Primary are celebrating Right to Read Week this week. Today is to wear your Right to Read t-shirt or our Poor Clit in Colors, red and white. Tomorrow will be wear your college gear. So wear a shirt that supports a college that you like. Thursday will be career day and Friday, wear your sunglasses. At this time, if you would please stand, put your right hand over your heart and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for a baton pledge. At Baton Memorial Elementary School, we work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices. We want to be the best version of ourselves. You may have a seat. Today is Tuesday, May 9, 2023, and for lunch today, we will have chicken patty sandwiches, baked beans, fruit, and milk. Happy birthday today to Jasper Lohetsky. We hope you have a great day celebrating your birthday. As we're thinking about the events that happen to us each day, please remember we can't always control those events, but what we do have complete control over is our response. And in order to make an above the line response, here's a few things you need to do. You need to press pause, stop, get your mind right and think. Then once you have made the choice of your decision of what you're going to do to make an above the line choice, you're gonna step up. Sometimes you have to adjust and adapt or change and make a difference. And also we can do that by building skill. These are all ways that we have complete control over the response that we give when an event happens. By making an above the line response and taking time to really stop and get your mind right and stepping up and acting, you're giving yourself time to think and make those above the line choices, which will have a huge influence on the outcome that you're going to get. We know we can't always control events, but what we can control is our response. And our above the line response will most of the time get us an above the line outcome. Let's work hard to make above the line responses. As we're thinking about our BBO, this week our primary students are working very hard on being gritty and embracing the challenge. Let's make sure we're working hard to get caught being above the line. Our theme for the month is to talk to people, not about people. You can practice this at lunchtime. You can practice this on the playground. You can practice this in your classroom, even outside of your classroom in your home. Make sure you are talking to people, not about people. Go to the person if you are having a small problem or an issue. Talk to them. Work it out together. Talk to people, not about people. Please remember that we make sure that in order to make above the line responses, we have to stop and think before we act. Stop, calm your body. You can do this by counting to 10, taking some deep breaths in and out, asking for a break if you need one. Then you need to think, what is the problem and what are the options? How could I handle this differently? The last step is to act, and that's when you're going to do what's best for you and for others. Let's make sure we're making safe and responsible choices. Remember, you control your actions and your words. Please remember to be above the line in the hallway. Let's make sure we're walking on the proper side of the hallway, keeping your hands and feet to yourself, going to and from our destinations quietly with our eyes forward and not disturbing classrooms as we walk by them. 
In the restrooms, let's all do our part to keep our restrooms safe and clean. Please walk in quietly, use the restroom, and come right out after you wash your hands. Please make sure there's only one person in each restroom stall at a time or in each restroom if you're using the individual restrooms. Use the bathroom properly, flush, wash your hands, and please make sure to clean up after yourself by throwing your paper towel in the trash can. Let's all do our part to keep our restrooms safe and clean. Congratulations to the following fifth grade students for mastering Multiplication Boot Camp. Congratulations to Abby Edmonds and William Gorney. And congratulations to Lily Hildreth. Also, mastering Decimal Boot Camp. Cannon Colbert, congratulations to those students. Special congratulations to our golden ticket winners. We had a lot of students that won a golden ticket. You can see those students standing there. They were treated to a special prize. Also, congratulations to our students that did participate in that golden ticket. There will be another one following this Friday for primary students. Porklet and Redskins Boys Basketball Camp will take place this week, or not this week, excuse me, next week, May 15th through May 18th. Please get your camp forms in though this week since the camp starts next week. This is for students in grades three through five. This is for boys. Um, it will take place in the Baton Gym from four o'clock to 6.30. The cost is $30 and you will receive a t-shirt. Let's hope everyone has a great day today. Let's work hard to control our responses, make above the line choices, and go skins.